Alrighty, Rue. Well, I'm gonna start dying now. Uh, hope this works. I'm gonna do it two tone. I only have just a really tiny bit of brown left, so I don't know if this is gonna work. We'll give it a shot though. Now, this is oil based dye. So it goes pretty far. This looks really dark. It almost looks black, but it's not. Once it dries, you'll be able to see the the brown in it. It's a dark brown stain. buff out some of the extra. Pink? No, pink's not a very Viking color. More oil. It's just what I have available, so black on this interior section. I could have just done black for the whole thing, but I thought the middle section with the dragon, the world leader, would be better in brown. So I thought a little two-tone would be good. It's easy to use a brush. It's not easy, it's um, effective. If you don't want, especially with the oil dye, you don't want them to bleed over onto each other. If you want that to happen, then that's one thing, but if you don't, <laughs> that's completely another thing. And right now, I don't want these to bleed at this exact moment. Alright, I'm going to keep working. I'm going to turn this camera off. Show you the finished product a little bit. All right, these leather dye, uh, this oil-based dye is a pain to work with. It is. I'm trying to get away from using it. I'm going to use up what I have left. What I'm not going to do now is I'm going to put a little wash on here of a of a different color, just to kind of help fill in the holes. Anywhere where there wasn't any uh, coverage. This is a cranberry. So I have a brown in the center, black on the little in rune inlays, and I'm doing a little 
kind of wash over the top of this cranberry. Like you got blood on your bracelet, man. You went into a battle. Came out bloody. green color there. That brown, when I added that cranberry to it, kind of went to a kind of a funky green. I like that. That's awesome. Sweet. Uh, I need to Take care of the edges and treat the back. And we're going to add our buckles, our snaps. Very cool. I like that. I want one. <laughs> All right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to smooth out the edges of the wristband. And then I'm also going to treat the back uh, to smooth it out, basically, and smooth the, the edges. And uh, yeah, then we'll probably be ready for some finish on the top <clears throat> to seal it in basically. And then with the hardware. We've got this gum tragacanth. That's what we use for the edges in this little bone slicker thing. Just to slick down the edges of the of the wristband. So you get some gum tragacanth on here. And yeah, here we go. Oops. There we go. Apply a little friction. Smooth that edge right out. All right, I'm gonna finish going around the rest of this. We'll be right back at you. All right, get the edges all smoothed out. Now I'm just gonna smooth the back. Get all this to lay down. You like my uh, text text alert? It's my buddy Ellis telling me he went to sleep in Skyrim and then he got abducted by the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Which I told him to do. Alright. It's going to let that dry a little bit. It's all nice and smooth. I used to um, I used to dye the back and then cover it with this stuff to seal it. But I kind of got away from doing that because I just don't want any chance of it really kind of bleeding through that onto uh, your skin or something. So I just uh, smooth out the back with the gum tracker cans. We'll let that dry. Then we're going to come back and put a little sealer on the front of this. We'll be good. Well, then we'll have to put on I got some edge coat I'm going to coat the edges with, and then uh, the hardware. And this puppy will be finished. All right, we're going to put a little bit of this edge coat on here, on the edges to make it look nice and 
tidy. Probably thinking, there's a lot of steps to this. You would be correct. There is a lot of steps to this. There might be easier ways to do this, but this is just how I do it because I'm into details. Alright, so there's a nice bit of edge coat around the the edges. Just cleans them up, make them make them look tidy. The finished look to the edges, which I quite like. What do you think? Pretty sweet. Probably come back and do the the clear coat finish tomorrow and put the hardware on tomorrow. Put the snaps on. All right, I got some satin sheen. I like the satin sheen. I like the more matte kind of finish on the leathers. You can get a gloss kind of finish to go over it, but personally, I like the satin finish. What this does is just kind of seals in the dye. It gives it a nice coating. It's like clear coat for leather. This is going to be awesome. I really like how the uh, different color colors are kind of laying together you know I gave it that cranberry wash of dye on top of the other dyes and I really like how it's turning out it's pretty sweet all right so I'm gonna let this dry and probably put a few more coats on it and then it'll be time for the hardware hey there Welcome back to the show. <clears throat> it's been a couple of days. Things have been a little crazy and hectic. And um, basically got everything. Oh, where's the light? There we are. Everything done. Uh, finish is nice and dry. Two coats of that, the finish on it. And um, yeah, a little green color. Had a slight hint of a green uh, on it. I don't think you can see this very well. <clears throat> But that kind of went away when I did the finish, which is cool. Now we're at the uh, a critical juncture where we're just attaching the snaps. A little snappy, snap, snappy. So I, I took part of the snaps and placed them where I wanted them to go. And while they were on there, I took one of my little tools here and marked it. And now we gotta punch the holes. So it's time to punch this stuff. All right. Here we go. Got a little exacto cutting board under here. Almost. Ooh. 
There we go. That went through. <gasps> and we have a hole. Yeah. All right. Yeah, buddy. There it is. Check it out. All right, so we got the holes punched. Now it's time to add the hardware. Alrighty then. So each side of the snap has uh, two pieces. The back side and the front side. Kind of like a set of strap locks on a guitar. But So we got to put two of these on each side. So there's four pieces on a side, basically. It's called an anvil, believe it or not. We set this piece on the back side of the wristband. And then the top part of the snap on the other side, set on the anvil. I've got this little setter that's going to set everything. Hopefully, sometimes if you hit it at the wrong angle, it bends the shaft or the bottom piece the wrong direction. But it's pretty good. More hits. I usually use a little less force than I probably need just because I don't want to screw things up. And now we have a set snap. So we got this part to add now on the other side. Somebody messaged me on Facebook. Here's the other half of this side. So we gotta set this. The snap. There we go. That was a good one. There we go. And there's the snap. How about that? All right. Cool. <laughs> and we're done. Got got Check it out, yo. That's it. That's it. The wristband of doom. Pretty sweet, eh? All done. All done. The only thing left to do is to uh, get this in the mail off to our wonderful winner of the 200,000 views celebration, Mr. Brandon Adams of Canada won this. Uh, there it is. So Brandon, I will get your uh, shipping information from you probably tomorrow uh, and we'll get it in the mailman. Of course, tomorrow, will probably not be when this video gets uploaded, but we'll see what happens. So, all right. Uh, thanks for watching. This is probably a really long video because there were a lot of steps in making this Viking wristband. 
And um, yeah, for those of you interested in leather crafting or leather smithing, <laughs> leather working, uh, hopefully, hopefully you found this interesting. Um, certainly not that you know the way I do things is you know the best way or the only way or whatever way. It's just the way that I do things when I make leather stuff for myself or for other people. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I thank you for all the views and thank you for people supporting our channel. Keep the music alive. Or face my wrath.